Hello everyone, um, it has officially been a while, and, um, you know, like, you know, things, like, go fast, like, by, like, through time, um, right now, this is a very special, dedicated video to scary facts, and if you guys know what scary facts are, they're basically facts that are scary, simple, uh, we are going to be discussing them, and probably theorizing them, uh, on, what, like, you know, like, what is true and what is not, like, what I think is true and what is not, it's basically, like, one of my opinions, so, um, I'm here to discuss them with you, and I'm just gonna search up scary facts, I don't even know why I'm doing this video, I'm not even connected to the internet, I am so sorry, I connect myself to the internet every time I log in this computer, this is a weird computer, um, my brother had once used it, but anyways, Let's see. Scary facts you should know. Um, keep in mind. I'm sorry. Like sometimes, like this web, this like entire freaking website chooses Bing. I don't even know why. And basically, I'm sitting on my piano chair since the chair I sat on once broke. And I mean, I know y'all are gonna make comments about like why did bro? Why did it break? Um. Apparently, um, yeah, something happened. <laughs> uh, anyways, so basically they said, when you feel like someone is watching you, your brain is usually correct. Well, depends. Um, your brain has senses. So basically, if you're talking about, like, spidey senses or, like, ultimate senses, then, like, your brain is usually correct. Like, like when you're talking about, um, what's it called? Uh forgot um we're talking about like psychology usually your brain detects like motion or some sort why am i getting all scientific and stuff like this but like your brain detects motion it has like nerves to detect when like something is behind you when it's something like, like if you have a feeling that something's behind you like you just turn around it can partially be true, but sometimes your brain mistakes it for something else. For example, there's a bird following behind you. You look around and you're like, oh, it's just a silly bird, like a pigeon or a crow. Um, but yeah, this is basically me talking a lot. But like, honestly, like, it's about scary facts. So, you know, leave it. I mean, I know this is cringe, but like, if you think this is cringe, like, you can just click away. A mountain lion stalks you for hours before killing you. Okay. I do not know anything about animals, so apparently a mountain lion stalking you for hours can kill. I do not know anything about mountain lions, to be honest. I do not know about anything about mountain lions. Um, the only thing I know about mountain lion lions are just like they're they're like they eat people. I I know I sound dumb, but like they eat people. Like the favorite part of a cannibal is to eat at the palm of the the palm of the hip. I do not understand cannibals. Why do you find humans delicious? Like, 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 why do you find humans delicious? Like, you like, uh, 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 or like, like that? Like, does that, like, does that part, like, you know, does some magical effects to your body? Does that, like, really affect your... I just don't understand cannibals. Like, if there is any, like, cannibals watching my video, I mean, hey, at least you subscribe. That's nice. Um, but yeah, like... Explain to me why you like the palm of the hand, and explain, like, who, who know why, why do you, why, why does this website know that? A murderer only has 40% chances of getting caught. It depends, basically, on the chance, if the chance is very obvious, like, for example, if you're talking about, like, a common murder, which is found with a knife, you can get the fingerprints and the DNA, which is usually, um, someone who did it. I mean, it's basically the same thing as the justice system. The justice system can sometimes be a little eh on the sides when it comes to murders. I mean, trust me, I watch a lot of documentaries. 3,000 people are never found again after disappearing in the U.S. every year. I mean, that's a factual thing. I mean, like, I can't argue against that, but, like... Uh, after death, the corpse seems to have no eyeballs. This is due to the fact that the eyeballs flatten on death. That is... I wouldn't say I never had someone die on me yet, but um, I've never had like someone die on me like for real. Like I don't know that yet. Uh, chainsaws were really originally invented for childbirth. That is true because if you search it up, people didn't know that newborns could feel pain. 
if the human body is fed to the pigs, they will devour everything except the teeth. I mean, pigs will eat anything at this point. Pigs will eat anything at this point. Wonder why dogs like squeaking toys? It is due to the fact that a feeling of a small animal is being crushed. These are not scaring me somehow. These are not scaring me somehow. Like, these are not scaring me. Like, I need to find a good scary one. Really scary. Okay. Something that I'll be actually shocked with. Or how about we read scary stories? I don't know if we want to read scary stories. Do you guys want to read scary stories? Um, there's a headless chicken. I mean, I already known that. All right, let's go with the scary stories. Because this is not scaring me at all. Why don't we go with, like, short scary stories? Short. Right here. Okay. Super terrifying short. And it's from BuzzFeed. Okay, let's see BuzzFeed. Oh, like, oh, that, that, that freaking picture right there. Okay, my daughter woke me around 11.50 last night. My wife and I had picked her up from her friend Sally, Sally's birthday party, brought her home, and put her to bed. My wife went into the bedroom to read while I fell asleep watching the Braves game. Daddy, she whispered, <laughs> tugging my shirt sleeve. Guess how old I'm going to be this next month? I don't know, beauty. As I said, I said as I slipped on my glass. Okay, this is one common thing that I don't get. I mean, like, a lot of parents will call their kids any name. My mom literally calls me, um, like, uh, Gabby or Gab or, like, Ch uh, Chi Chi or, like, something else. It's, it's funny. It's funny. Guess how old I'm going to be next month. Uh, I don't know, beauty. I said as I slipped on my glasses. How old? She smiled and held up four fingers. It is 7.30 now. My wife... And I have been up with her for almost eight hours. She still refuses to tell me where she got them. Wait, what? Uh, I don't get it. Oh my god. I pray that whoever's in the ambulance will be safe. I pray. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't get it. So she said, Daddy, she whispered, guess how old I'm going to be next month? Daughter woke him up around 11.50 last night, picked her up from her friend Sally's birthday party, and brought her home and put her to bed. She said she, when she said she's going to be old, she, she held up four fingers and she smiled. 7.30 now, my wife and I have been up for, with her for almost eight hours. She still refuses to tell us where. I don't get it. My daughter learned to count. That's not terrifying. Oh, there's still more. <laughs> I didn't notice. They just put a picture at the end and they told the end, bro. Oh, come on. Okay. I began tucking him to bed and he tells me, Daddy. Wait, is it a he or she? Because it's about a daughter. I begin tucking her into bed and she tells me, Daddy, check for monsters under my This is already cat uh, under my bed. I look underneath for his amu her amusement. Oh my gosh, I'm disrespecting Pron. I'm gonna get canceled. Canceled Twitter. Um, I look underneath for his amusement and see him. Another him under the bed, staring back at me, quivering and whispering. Daddy, there's someone. There's somebody on my bed. Oh, oh, okay. Basically, it's her doppelganger. It's her doppelganger. She knew how to count. All of a sudden, a doppelganger is underneath her bed. No, wait, no. All of a sudden, she is underneath the bed. The doppelganger knew how to count. She is underneath the bed. My question is, how are you not going... Well, I was about to say, how are you not going to scream for help? But she's a little kid. I mean, I she... That was... A, okay, I mean, I, I know that I sound stupid. Like, I know I'm sorry about that. I hate it when my brother Charlie has to go away. That's basically the time. I hate... Okay, bro, I just started... I just finished testing, and now I'm just reading this with y'all. I mean, like, if y'all are not entertained, it's okay. Uh, there's a freaking fly in my room. Um, I swear... Um... I hate it when my brother Charlie has to go away.
My parents constantly try to explain to me how sick he is, that I am lucky for having a brain where all the chemicals flow properly to their destinations like undammed rivers. When I complain about how bored I am without a little bro- This is already a terrifying story enough, dog. Look what happened to my blinds. Now the neighbors don't see me doing this stuff. Oh my gosh, bro. Now I gotta turn it up. Ooh. Sorry about that, y'all. I do not know how to attack. Okay. I'm done. I do not know how to attack to window thing. I'll learn later. I'll get it from the how class tutorial. Oh my gosh, bro. Ugh. Seems about right. I swear that fly is starting to bug me. I ain't put my headphones. I'm so sorry. Give me a minute. Okay. My parents try constantly try to explain how sick he is, that I am lucky for having a brain for, where all the chemicals flow properly to their destinations like undamned rivers. When I complain about how bored I am, uh, with a, without a little brother to play with, they try to make sure, they try to make me feel bad by pointing out that his boredom likely surpa far surpasses mine. Considering he's confined to a dark room in an institute. So you're telling me your brother is in a mental institution. Okay. I always beg for them to give him one last chance. Of course, they did at first. Charlie had been back home several times, each shorter in duration than the last. Yeah, that's where you That's when you know he's really crazy. Every time without fail. It all starts again. The neighborhood cats with gouged out eyes showing up in his toy chest. My dad's razors found dropped on the baby slide in the park across the street, mom's vitamins replaced by bits of dishwasher towel. Honey, he needs to go. Yeah, he ne Charlie needs to go. Charlie needs to go. Ch Charlie, Charlie needs to go. I need to turn off my fan. I'm sorry. My parents are hesitant now, using last chances sparingly. They say his disorders make him charming. Is there a, is there a disorder to make you charming? Makes it easy for him to fake normalcy and to trick the doctors who care for him into thinking he is ready for rehab. Ha, rehab. I mean, rehab until. Okay, I don't even know how to pronounce I'm sorry that I will just have to put up with my boredom if it means staying safe with him. I hate when Charlie has to go away. It makes me have to pretend to be good until he is back. Back. My daughter won't stop crying and screaming in the middle of the night. I visit her grave and ask her to stop. But it doesn't help. Yeah. You need to go. Pack your bags. You need to go. So you're saying to me, Charlie's there. Who's Charlie? Charlie's like your brother, right? And then you see, and then it cuts. It, it cuts. My daughter won't stop crying and screaming in the middle of the night. I visit her grave and ask her to stop, but it doesn't. Did you kill your daughter, homie? Are you good, fam? Like, look at that face. Bro, I wish I could show you his face. Charlie looked mentally, bro. Charlie looked like he's seen some stuff. Charlie looked Charlie looked like he'd been into the shower and the shampoo got into his eyes from the hair that he's freaking scrubbed. Charlie looked like the type of kid that will literally use a freaking razor as a substitute for a pencil. Gosh. Bro, probably he has, like, a kid's channel. I don't know. Hell, there was no purely gay. Bro, this story is called Hell. Bro, dude, like, you really gotta put hell in your type. That's when, yeah, 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 I'm not reading that. I'm not reading that. Uh, he stood against my window. Uh, I don't know why I looked up, but when I did, I saw him there. He stood against my window. His forehead rested against the glass, and his eyes were still with light. And he smiled a lipstick red cartoonish grin. Honey, if I saw a man in my window, his forehead rested, like he's like, he's, this cat, this fly is starting to ignore. I'm about to do something to you. Bro, making me look crazy though. This fly, I. S 
Don't even ask how I got flies into my room. I mean, I like, I like, I open my window. I leave it open at times. So like, uh, Billie Eilish can ward off the flies. Um. Okay. So, if I saw a man staring at me on the window stood again with his forehead pressed, like I know forehead review, like this with a smiley, cartoony, cartoonish grin, I would have, I would have gotten out of the house. Like, you don't gotta do all this extra stuff. You don't gotta look. You don't gotta do anything. You can just leave. Like, that's one thing you should do. Just leave. Just, like, GTFO out of there. Just, like, bust down the door. Like, just, like, just, just, like, just, like, just, like. Oh, my gosh. I saw a man out my window. GTFO, if you know what I mean. Like, get out. Like, Honestly, I know that's a weird example to show it, but like, that's one thing that you could do. That's the thing. This damn fly. Okay. He, he, bro, that fly is just as creepy as the man that's standing outside the damn window. Bro, I'm starting to get scared. I don't even know why I'm getting scared. Like, you know what? Fear is now not optional anymore. Um, my chicken will help, or probably my plushies will. My chicken is here to guide me throughout the whole thing. He is right here. Uh, I what should you should what should I name him? Like I know that uh, Coppa made this comment section disabled. I don't even know why. I'm basically a minor somehow. I mean, I am a minor, but the thing is that that doesn't mean that you don't get to comment. I mean, you just you just put him some feedback. Like if you want his name to be Doofel Schmerg, Nerdy Nerd, anything like that, school graduate, college student eating ramen noodles. I mean, anything basically. Okay, I'm just I'm I'm continuing reading this because I'm starting to get off topic. And he just stood there in the window. My wife was upstairs sleeping, and my son was in his crib, and I couldn't move. And fro and I froze, and watched him looking past me through the grass. Okay, GTFO. This this is the situation where you would get out of the house. Oh please no! His smile never moved, well, but he put a hand up and slipped. See, even my chicken is like, my chicken is like, oh hell no! Because this is not the logical situation. This is the situation of someone else. If I was there, honey, I would have left immediately. Oh, please, no. His smile never moved, but he put a hand up and slid it down the glass watching me with matted hair and yellow skin and face through the... Is there a thing called a yellow skin? Can your skin be yellow, y'all? Like, like if you get the right tan, like, your skin can be yellow. Like, is that true? I couldn't do anything. I just stayed there for... Okay, I know that people freeze in shock, but the thing is, now it's the time to GTFO. Like, you gotta go. What are you doing staying here? You, you. And this is the part. This is why many people die in horror movies. They just. <gasps> they stay there. And basically they get their ass kicked. Like, I, I, I could just be. Oh my god. I could just be standing here like. And then when I see a monster, I'm heading the hell out of there. I'm like, 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 bye. Like, because, like, you don't got to stay there if there's someone there. Like, if you're frozen in shock, like, just snap out of it. Just like, hey, yo, you got a monster in your house. Like, that's a real thing. I couldn't do anything. I stayed there frozen. Still fit on the bush. Look into my home. He stood against my window. Don't be scared of the monsters, just look for them. Look to your left, look to your right, under your bed, under your, behind your dresser, in your closet, but never look up. She hates being seen. Where's she at? I think I, I think you know what this call is for. I'm bringing this with me, okay? Don't worry, I read it. Praise the Lord. So I lost my phone. Last night, a friend rushed me out of the house to catch 
the opening act at a local bar's music night. After a few drinks, I realized my phone wasn't in my pocket. That's that's a sign already. You're in a bar. Drink, 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 drink. And you lost your phone. Tell me, through my expression, what do you think I'm thinking right now? You're effed. Okay, so she, okay. After a few drinks, I realized my phone was on my pocket. I checked the table we were sitting at, the bar, the bathrooms, and after no luck, I used my friend's phone to call mine. After two rings, someone answered, gave a low, raspy giggle. So, like, if you're, like, get your phone, right, and you, your friend's phone, and you start calling them, you're like, hey, I lost my phone. I'm drunk as freak. Come get me. And you just hear, <laughs> you can't get me. <laughs> What you think you're gonna do? Like, don't just stay there. Just say, you better give me my dang phone before I call the police. I'll call the popo on you. And then, like, basically, you could just use, find my iPhone. Like, find my, if you have another device, I mean, find my iPhone is actually better. You're just like, ding, 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 ding. Like, like, that's, that's how it works. I found my phone laying on my nightstand where I left it. After working a hard day, I came home to see my girlfriend cradling our child. I didn't know which was more frightening, seeing my dead girl. Girlfriend, dead girlfriend, and stillborn child, or knowing that someone broke into my apartment to place them there. Yeah. No. I think we're gonna end it here today. Um, uh, thank you all for watching. Um, if you want me to do more of this, hit me up. Let me know because I, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like y'all don't want this. But like if you do, sure. Uh if you don't, that's good. Right now, I'm gonna be heading to kill the fly that's right here, right in front of my right in front of my ass, just standing there up on the sky. I'm gonna kill him with this rubber chicken. But if you guys want more, thank you for watching. I mean like I don't know if you want more, but like anyways. Where's that fly? Sorry.